Coming up next, a UFC welterweight division matchup. All right, so here he is, one of the more prolific takedown artists in the UFC at present. And when you get some praise from Daniel Cormier, when it comes to your offensive takedown game, you know you're doing something right. If we talk about wrestlers and judo players and grapplers, but this guy just combines all of that. He is able to use foot sweeps from the grappling game. He is able to use throws from judo, and he's able to use wrestling in the, from the wrestling game to take people down. He has an array of takedowns at his disposal, and he uses every single one of them from the speed of the level change to the timing to the knowledge of where to go next. When the guy starts to defend, he's truly, truly something special. I don't think he could take you down, but tonight he doesn't have to. So he does not in have this to. matchup, prevailing wisdom is he'll be able to get this fight to the canvas. Well, we probably trot out the term well-rounded in modern-day mixed martial arts more than we should, but this fighter certainly fits the bill. Oh, 110%. He can do everything inside the octagon. Where he is most comfortable is inside of that eight-sided structure where right. most men are terrified of being. But for this gentleman, he only wants to be there. When you try to wrestle him, he's able to defend takedowns. If you dare stand and strike with him, he can knock you out. He's got all the tools necessary to become a UFC champion. His first martial art, mixed martial arts, <laughs> and that's not always the case. He believes that he should have a lot of advantages in this matchup today. Our tale of the tape for this welterweight fight. So a more than five-year gap between these two fighters when it comes to the age, some differences in height and reach. Let's get it started. Here's Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC welterweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record of 10 wins, no losses. He stands six feet two inches tall, weighing in at 170 pounds. Fighting out of Stockholm, Sweden, Hobson Bors Chibaya! And now he his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. A mixed martial artist holding a professional record of 20 wins, four losses. He stands five feet ten inches tall, weighing in at 170 pounds. Fighting out of Boca Raton, Florida, Gilbert Durinho Burns! And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Eve Loving. The veteran Eve Levine draws the assignment here. You ready? You ready? All right, so here we go, round one. I can barely hear myself think in this arena right now. Two of the most dominant, well-rounded fighters in this division. I mean, these guys are the best of all the mixed martial arts. They can do everything when they're locked inside of the octagon. I'm so excited to watch the highest level of MMA on display tonight. Well, he's got the reach advantage. You might as well use it. Nice job there to find a home for that chip. Nice connection with a the punch there. It's hard to recall a time in the past that his boxing looked this sharp. It never looked this good. Good series of punches by him there. He has certainly had no trouble finding the range tonight. He is finding the target with everything he throws. He's mixing it up beautifully. Got the single collar tie. That shot is blocked by Burns. Well, he's holding that potentially a critical takedown here. All right, so you got to be careful playing on the ground with this guy. You don't want to mess around for too long. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. All right, feet on the hips here. Working off of his back here. Looks like he may try to hip escape. The ground and pound has been there all night.
under three minutes remain in round one. Oh, man. This ground and pound is good. Probably my favorite striking realm in MMA, and he's as good as it gets. The problem is the opponent is not controlling his posture. He's allowing his opponent to get up, and when he does, he creates this space to land these beautiful ground and pound combinations. Oh, nice job to reverse position on the ground. It was bad, but now it's not so bad. What a fantastic sweep. Burns has got his head looking for a guillotine choke. A guillotine. this as he jumps to side mount to try to counter the guillotine with a Von Flu choke. Oven St. Pru would be proud. Wow. Full guard now, DC. For the top fighter, you gotta be very careful because most submissions come from the full guard. So advance to half. Try to build posture, but if you're the bottom person, the moment your opponent tries to move to the next position, build a shield. Kick off the hips and get back to your feet. Well, he's staying pretty effective here, fighting off of his back. Nice strike landed there by the bottom by Burns. Elbow lands for him. Oh, elbows landing in bunches. Now you gotta cover up. Keep it busy here off of his back. Nice offense from the bottom. Under a minute now to go in the round. Lands a strike now from the bottom. Nice work there by Burns. All right, got to be careful playing around inside his guard. Absolutely, John. That's why you don't sit in a full guard. When you sit in the full guard, it gives these guys too many opportunities to chase submissions. And now he's jumping on a triangle. Oh, he's stuck in the guillotine. Oh, we're getting a finish here. Oh, countering. It looks like with a bomb flu choke, or maybe we should call it the OSP now, but trying to get out of the guillotine by submitting his opponent. Incredible. Here, Will is, is really remarkable to watch. All right, full guard now, DC. The fighter on top needs to be trying to gain posture to throw ground and pound and then move to the next position. But if you're on the bottom, you've got to build a shield. Try to push your opponent off to try to get back to your feet. All right, DC, let's look at some of the highlights from the last round. A lot for the replay guys to choose from. Yeah, man, these guys stood on a quarter in the middle of the octagon. Take one to give one. Over and over, each guy landed, and they both landed very well over the course of that first round. You ready? You ready? All right, round two. Well, we told you off the top. Oh! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. We'll finish his fight. Slams him to the ground. A beautiful single leg takedown. Lifted him in the air and put him down. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. Oh, now going to the judo throw. He ends up in side control. A lot of options for him here. Yeah, he can either go ground and pound or he can chase the mission. All right, north south position now, DC. We'll see how he chooses to advance from here. All right, bottom fighter here, maybe looking to hip escape, DC. Oh, tagged him with that right hand. What a strike that was. What a strike that he is landing over and over again. His opponent will need to make some adjustments. Crazy accuracy and efficiency with these ground and pound strikes here. And if you're the opponent, you've got to intelligently defend or the referee's going to stop. you got to defend, but you can 
see him now starting to gain posture and the intensity at which he's throwing these ground strikes is starting to improve. It's starting to elevate because he knows that he can get the finish. Oh, reversal here, DC. What a way to switch the position. Fantastic movement by the bottom fighter. the ground and pound strike. All right, so pretty good damage here with the ground and pound. Nothing superficial about these strikes. They are intending to harm. Oh yeah, he's landing very accurately and he's landing to get damage on. Well, the ground and pound has been on point tonight. Good work here by Burns. He's putting him in exactly the positions he needs to be in right now. He's able to relax here. And he understands, being a veteran of so many fights, that as long as he's on top, he's winning. He feels like he's winning here. Pretty good work with the ground and pound here by Burns. Stop, stop, stop. All right, so not enough action there on the ground. The referee brings the fight back to the feet. And we are back underway. DC didn't take him long to find his range here tonight, huh? His timing is on point. Oh! And he's he's the finish line because he's got to very bad. Every time these guys come together, man, you just hear the, the punches and everything landing. Both, both very powerful, very, very explosive. Well, you know he's comfortable fighting off his back. Well, anytime you are in a ground fighting situation with this fighter, you're potentially playing with fire. Close guard. All right, he's trying to control posture here. Now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position off the bottom. Oh, that'll work. The grounded pound strike is good. He's putting him in exactly the positions he needs to be in right now. He's able to relax here. And he understands, being a veteran of so many fights, that as long as he's on top, he's winning. He feels like he's winning here. Trying to guard pass here, not today. No, it ain't happening. Good job understanding the transition. Five seconds remain in the round. Thirty seconds to go in the round. Twenty seconds left. Two rounds in the books. All right, there's the horn indicating the end of the round. So potentially a big factor here, ladies and gentlemen. The cut on the cheek sustained in that round. Certainly better to be below than above the eye, but the cut man's got to get in there and close that thing up. So, just like we did in the gym, we're going to have to switch it up. I want you to... All right, so there's the end of the round. He stayed committed to doing damage upstairs and landed a seminal blow in that round. It was accumulation of those strikes. He kept hitting him over and over to the head. Eventually, he found the, the one that really did damage his opponent. to the body, and they separate. Straight right, he misses. That right hand hurt him a little bit. Well, we 
talked about that reach advantage as you see him land the straight punch there. Great job using his length in that situation. And a nice job at least staying upright on that. Quick level change now. He went single into a high crotch. Oh, he's taking a beautiful line. Oh. oh, my God. He switched the lock to a high crotch, rotated him, and took him for a ride. That was a big takedown. Pretty good right hand. All oh, the ground and pound strikes continue to rain down. The opponent better move out of harm's way or the referee's gonna stop this. He better start to move, and when his opponent starts to posture, he needs to put his feet on the hip, push him away to try to escape this very, very dangerous position. Oh, how about the speed on that reversal there? I mean, I know you can get out of some bad spots, but not with that type of speed. You cannot allow him to get leverage on the bottom. What a sweep. All right, so inside the open guard of his opponent, you gotta be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy. He loaded up on that right hand, too. Burns is looking to pass out of the half guard here, maybe looking for side control. He's denied. Three minutes now to go in this one. Oh, really nice work to keep busy off of his back as he lands some more offense here for Bob. Burns looking to pass into half guard here, but he's denied. All right, well, both fighters pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you gotta be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. All right, he's very comfortable fighting off his back, DC. Now looks like he's trying to hip us. Right now, it looks like he may be trying to set up an arm triangle choke. He needs to secure the left arm, push it across, and secure it with his head. Watch triangle, watch triangle. There he is, he's moving to the finishing position. Now watch, he goes parallel right next to his opponents. When it's time to finish. Nicely done. Trying to recover full guard there. Nice hammer fist. Well, pretty good work off of the bottom here by Burns. Oh, some big punches raining down here, picking the spots well, and hasn't chosen to engage his opponent on the ground necessarily, posturing up and, and making these shots count. I mean, why would he? He's having so much success with doing it in fighting in this exact same manner that leads him to be ahead in the fight right now. to the body here. Instead, it's turned away by Burns. And they separate. Well, you've got to admire the urgency here. He is trying to keep the judges out of it. Lighten up his opponent left and right. All right, so a high amplitude double leg takedown there. Now we'll see what he can do with it to try to advance position on the ground. You knew that he was going to attack the double because he's such an explosive guy. He got it on the hips, finished the shot very quickly. Fantastic job. I love watching this guy move on the ground. Another nice transition there. Such a high-level grappler. You don't see that very often. Watch right, a good ground and pound by him here. Certainly staying busy, and not just busy, but effective. You can just throw punches to keep the referee off you. This guy is throwing punches to be effective, to throw damaging strikes. He's doing a fantastic job. Well, the ground and pound is there. 20 seconds to go in the fight. Lands with the ground and pound here. Final 10 seconds of the fight. I mean, how many can he take?
The official decision is in. Bruce Buffer has it. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for decision. All three judges score the contest. 30-27. Playing the winner by unanimous decision, Hobbs and Boris Kavada! All right, so there he is. The celebration is on. He tried to leave the judges out of it tonight, was unable to do that, but a pretty dominant effort nonetheless. He's your winner by unanimous decision. And you've got to feel good about that. you got to feel good about dominating every aspect of a fight. 